everyone, I'm Justin Watley, joined by Joey Coulter, and welcome to Before the Green Flag on GMSRacing.net. Each week, this will be the place where we bring you up to date on all the news and storylines before each NASCAR Camping World Truck Series event for the number 23 and 33 race teams. It's already been a successful speed week for GMS Racing, as Grand Infinger won the season opening event in the ARCA Racing Series, presented by Menards for the second consecutive season in a row this past weekend. Enfinger led 36 of the 80 laps en route to his second Daytona win, his third win at GMS Racing, and his ninth career win in the ARCA Racing Series. Well, it's huge. Uh, it's huge for everybody in the shop, and uh, obviously anytime you can bring home the hardware, it's a, it's a good day. So, had a, a great run with the, the car over there. It's got Scheldt in number 20. He, uh, he had a great run as well, was able to push us to the lead. So, I uh, can't say thanks enough to, to Alamo, Legion Travel, Worth USA, uh, everybody at GMS Racing that's made this possible. So, uh, it, uh, it, it, it's pretty amazing to, to do it twice in a row and do it with these kind of guys behind us. So, um, definitely uh, very, very blessed to, to have this opportunity. Speed Weeks at Daytona International Speedway kicks off the NASCAR Camp World Truck Series season as it has for 16 consecutive years. For the first time since 2011, the NASCAR Camp World Truck Series season will begin with back to back races, making it a quick turnaround for every team. Competition Director Mike Beam discussed the preparation between Daytona and the second race of 2015, Atlanta Motor Speedway. The thing that you cha your challenge right now is to make sure your team's in sync. You know, you come away from the homestead, everyone's had a couple months off to get back in the click of things. It's a tough situation for a, uh, a crew chief because you got to get the team rallied, the whole, whole deal, because, you know, it is, it's been an all season, everybody's kind of taking a break, and you got to get that fire back in you to. Uh, compete again, you know, you're going to the biggest race you have, so it's a, uh, it is tough, but you know, I think we got the people to do it. Spencer Gallagher will drive the number 23 Allegiant Chevrolet in all 23 races this season, while the number 33 Chevrolet will be split between Ty and Austin Dillon and Brandon Jones. Ty Dillon will begin the season in the number 33 Ream Chevy at Daytona and Atlanta. Shane Huffman will crew chief the number 33 team and talk about working with multiple drivers. Well, I think, uh, you know, there is obviously a, a degree of difficulty with that, but, um, you know, with, with Austin and Ty, both you get a lot of experience and a lot of, uh, a lot of talent with those two, so that should really help us and uh, speed up that learning curve a lot. And, uh, you know, with Brandon, you know, he's going to be, uh, he's going to be a rookie, but I do have a lot of experience with, with Brandon from last year in the Canyon and the Arca stuff and a few truck races that we did also. So, um, you know, I already kind of, know what to expect from him so uh, you know hopefully the difference uh, with you know with Ty and Austin comes into uh, you know their experience level and talent level helps us out with that transition a lot. Spencer Gallagher will make his first start at Daytona in the NASCAR Camp World Truck Series but has three starts at the World Center of Racing and the ARCA Racing Series presented by Menards. However Spencer does have NASCAR Camp World Truck Series restrictor plate experience at Talladega Super Speedway. In October last season he scored his best career finish of third Crew Chief Jeff Stankiewicz will lead Gallagher's first full-time NASCAR Camp World Truck Series season. Uh, I'm really looking forward to working with Spencer, you know, going to Kansas with him last year and winning that race first time out with him. He was really pumped up about that. And it's got him pumped up for this year and then Grant winning that ARC race this past weekend has really just got him excited and I know Spencer can go fast and uh, I'm not worried about that aspect of things and you know, going into Daytona, him finishing third last year at Talladega, I feel like if we can put him in a position where he was last year with the right pusher and in the right pack and all the stars line up, we could potentially win that race with him, and I know he's really excited about it. I think the year's going to be good with him. I think he'll go fast. Spencer Gallagher and Ty Dillon will hit the racetrack on Thursday afternoon for two practice sessions at 1.30 and 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Fox Sports 1. Fox Sports 1 will also have live coverage of pole qualifying at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday and the next era Energy Resources 2.50 at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. To stay up to date on the 23 and 33 teams throughout this and every race weekend, give GMS Racing a like on Facebook, at GMS Racing LLC on Twitter, and check out GMSRacing.net.